What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And today we got the much anticipated massive update that Rockstar talked about a few days ago. Now this update of course is update 1.20. I will link all these patch notes down in the description because they are very long. There's a lot of bug fixes and stuff like that. I'm going to go over the high points of the patch notes. I don't want the video to go on for too long, but it's going to be a bit longer video than I usually make here on the channel because there's a lot of new stuff added in. Now this update on my PS4 was a little over 5 gigs to download. I'm not sure what it's going to be on Xbox, of course, or PC. But it says the world of Red Dead Online continues to evolve with a new frontier pursuit featuring a unique path and activities to help you carve out a life for yourself on the frontier. The Naturalist is going to be the new role, of course. It says the new Naturalist Specialist role opens a new path around tracking, studying, and hunting animals. Naturalist gets access to a new role progression, gameplay, and several items. To gain access to the role, visit the Welcome Center in the town of Strawberry to purchase the sample kit from Harriet Davenport to get started. Seven new legendary animal species, each with three different subspecies, have been added to Red Dead Online. Some subspecies can be found in the open world by purchasing maps from Harriet Davenport, while sightings of some rare subspecies may become available uh, from Harriet as you progress through the role itself. The new, uh, of course, legendary animal species are going to be the cougar, fox, boar, beaver, wolf, bison, and elk. Two new naturalist roles related free roam events have been added to Red Dead Online and will become available via invites as you progress through the naturalist role. To protect the legendary animal, you're going to work with other players to free and escort a legendary animal from poachers and wild animal tagging. Cooperate with other players to uh, tag a certain number of animal species within the time limit. Both Dav uh, Harriet Davenport and Gus McMillan have set up uh, stores in several locations across the world of Red Dead Online. Visit, uh, visit Harriet's Naturalist store to progress the Naturalist role, purchase special toxins, and hear about unique missions. Uh, alternatively, drop by Gus's store with animal provisions to craft new clothing items, trinkets, and more. There are new missions to rescue animals from poachers have been added. Uh, these can be started by talking to Harriet Davenport and may appear dynamically through the open world once you progress through the role itself. The Wilderness Camp has been added to Red Dead Online, unlocked by progressing through the natural's role. This allows uh, players to create a temporary campfire at a nearby location in the open world with the ability uh, for up to four players to sit, cook, craft, and rest, which is a pretty cool thing in my opinion. I'm really glad they've added that in. Five new dynamic events have been added in across the world for players to discover. New sets of weekly collections from Madame Nazar have also been added in for the collector role. Several new daily challenges have been added into Red Dead Online in both the general challenge and role challenge categories. Several new awards related to Naturalist, Moonshiner, Collector Role uh, content has also been added into the game. The Wheeler, Rawson & Co. Uh, Club is available. Club membership is automatic and free and gives players rewards as they play during the membership period starting today, July the 28th and running through October the 19th. The Outlaw Pass 3 is also available starting today running from the same time, of course, July the 28th through October the 19th. And of course, anything that you acquire within that period from that Outlaw Pass 3 is yours to keep permanently. There are new items and variations of clothing and outfits have been added for male and female characters. Uh, these can be purchased from various places, including the stores of Gus McMillan, Madame Nazar, the general stores, and of course, the handheld catalog. New items, uh, of course, some, several new tonics uh, and some other items have been added in as the game as well, which, which will be unlocked and purchased at Harriet's Naturalist uh, store by progressing through the Naturalist role. These also allow the player to control the, their weight loss gain, increase resistance against weather effects, and more. Several animal trinkets have been added into Red Dead Online. Now, of course, we did have animal trinkets, you know, in the story mode. These will provide some permanent benefits to player stats. They can be purchased from Gus's store by trading legendary animal provisions. Several new crafting recipes have also been added into the game, which can be unlocked and purchased uh, at Harriet's Natural Store by progressing through the Naturalist role. A new horse breed, which is the Gypsy Cobb, is another horse you can get, of course, while you're progressing through that Naturalist role. Several new items for horse equipment, such as saddles, saddlebags, have been added in and can be unlocked once again through the naturalist role. 
Two new weapons have been added in, the Elephant Rifle and the Improved Bow. You can purchase those at the Gunsmith or with the Handheld Catalog. Three new weapon variants have been added in, the Varmint Rifle, the Naturalist variant, the Improved uh, Bow, the Honored variant, and the Improved Bow, the Wooden uh, variant. Also, several new weapon modifications, uh, components like grip stocks, uh, style like metal material, you know, like a tempered steel, engraving material, and wrap material have also been added in as well. The advanced camera has been added to Red Dead Online, purchasable from the general store or the ha handheld catalog, as well as improved maneuverability and the ability to use filters. It can be used to identify animals in the animal field guide. Additional filters can be unlocked through the Outlaw Pass rewards. A new hairstyle, the uh, uncombed balding male and tangled locks for the female, six new emotes, one new walk style, which is drunk, uh, four new camp flags, and one new outfit for Crips has also been unlocked. Uh, a new breed of camp dog has also been added in. Once unlocked, these can be purchased, of course, from the Wilderness Outfitter itself. Uh, when it comes to uh, studio backdrops, there's three studio backdrops that have been added into Red Dead Online and can be unlocked through the Outlaw Pass rewards. Four new studi uh, studio poses have also been added in. PlayStation 4 Early Access content, the Legendary uh, Horn Ram, the Chalk Horn Ram, the Roulette Horn Ram, three uh, Fossil Collections, and a Poncho are some of the early things, of course, you know you get if you're a PS4 player. Balancing and improvement changes, they adjusted the colors and transparency uh, of some things on the radar in the minimap. Holding the circle button to exit the pause menu for any screen is now quicker, making the speed of the catalog and shop menus a lot faster. Uh, buy max and buy max carried options have been added into the game. Improvements have been made to the wardrobe system, uh, which will allow more combinations and removal of you know things, including the ability for female characters to remove shirts while wearing corsets. Players can now mercy kill an animal that is bleeding out. Of course, this ability will be unlocked through the natural role or the naturalist role. Aim assist options have been added into the settings. Reduce the chance of ragdoll when a player's horse starts sliding due to a steep, you know, slope or hill or something like that. Uh, matchmaking improvements. Of course, the sh system for showdown mode teams has been improved. And continue improvements for all of the error codes we get in game, which there's four or five, six of those listed. Uh, role improvements. Moonshine recipes can now be pinned to the player log menu. A guest list has been added to the door of the Moonshine Shack bar. And updates have been made to randomize, uh, randomization of collectibles, including the new location for items dug up using the field shovel. Now, when it comes to uh, daily challenge balancing, they have gone with a few changes with this, with the introdu uh, introduction of the new role. Up to 15 different role challenges will be, will be provided. A player can now complete a maximum of nine different role challenges each day. The existing challenge of the goal for seven daily challenges completed has been replaced by two separate challenge goals, and the streak system remains unchanged. Uh, of course, when it comes to economy balancing, free weapon uh, component vouchers can no longer be used to purchase variant skins for weapons at the gunsmith, and alligators now provide two types of provisions when skinned depending on the size of the animal and the sale of the different amounts to the butcher. Uh, also, some online fixes for matchmaking and networking. Role content, there's a lot of fixes here that uh, or it's just a lot of issues. Like I said, there was tons of bug fixes in kind of the end of this. And if you guys want to read over all these bug fixes, like I said, they're all listed down in the description below. But it was just a lot of issues in the game where, you know, missions weren't working correctly, XP was not working correctly, uh, uh, duplicated of player characters to appear. Of course, that was a problem. Um, there's some other things with the uh, Condor Egg event. There was a lot of bug fixes and issues that went on in the game that have been looked at. And a lot of content fixes as well. Like I said, there's tons of those listed down in the description if you guys would like to read over those for yourself. Um, also, some fixes just for some bugs in the story mode as well. And kind of game menus and interface. But anyway, guys, leave me a comment which, and let me know what you think about this update. And of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance to share the video, please do. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out everything down in the description. GT Racing, which is the affiliate here on the channel, is listed down there. Also, the community Discord and my Twitter is linked in the description as well. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.